Hi, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I am very happy to be here today with Sam from Specsavers in Langebaan. And we're going to be talking all things about kids' eye health and getting your kids' eyes tested. So, um, first of all, let me just put my little ticker up there. I love my ticker. So, one of the giveaways for today's video is win an eye test at Specsavers. This is only at the Langebaan branch. So join in the discussion, ask your questions, and Sam and I will be finding out about kids' eye health. I actually know nothing, Sam. <laughs> I have not taken my kids for an eye test, as you know, because I would have brought them to you. Um, but That's they seem so sad. 2020 vision, except when I'm like, pick up all your stuff, and they pick up one thing. <laughs> they, they can't, can't see it. <laughs> so it's kind of like, they can see when they want to. It's the same with their ears. Yeah. It's sort of, yeah. it's worse thing to me. I yeah, don't know if you ears know. don't work. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a new place that opened up in the mall over here that actually tests your ears. But can you please close the door? There's a new place in the mall that actually does do ears and things, but um, I don't think it works for the hearing of kids' ears. <laughs> well, actually, my children pointed that out to me when they saw it because my yeah. hearing is frankly going way down like my mother and um when they saw it they're like look mom look you can get a hearing aid and i'm like no <laughs> <I'm> not really <laughs> so, what i want to know is um is it important to have mm. your kids eyes tested look it is i always say um from my point of view or from our point of view um, it is important. You know, you, there's things you don't look at as, as parents or whatever. Your child's sitting in the classroom, you know, taking strain on, on looking at that whiteboard 24-7. Your child's on their phone. Your child is watching TV. You know, those are things that, that you don't look at that actually does, um, how can I say, it does affect your child's eyes. And it is important to at least have that checkup to know because um, I know of a few patients that, started with glasses at the age of 10 whereas their eyes actually started deteriorating at like five or six you know and if they had had glasses um it wouldn't have been that bad you know we could have stopped the process or not stopped the process but at least helped with the process but now by the time your child's lenses should be about this thick your child's lenses are like that thick you know so, yeah, it is important to have your our child's eye test so to check what's happening, you know, especially if there is glasses in the family, you know. If you have that case, definitely, definitely agree. It is very, very important, at least once a year. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, what, you know, you're talking now about, you know, what moms, you know, moms can miss stuff. So, what are some of the things that moms can look out for at home, you know, signs that there's mm -hmm. a problem with the eyes? Yeah, I've written a few things down. So, um, firstly, you start at the age of six. With eye tests, most babies do start younger. That, that is definitely if your family has the history of, of wearing glasses or eyesight problems. But your child starts the test at the age of six. And there's a few signs that you should look at. That is headaches. Your child complains of headaches. Mom, I came from school, I have a headache. Or, Mom, I want to go lay down, I have a headache. You know, things like that. Um, constant blinking. Also, so while reading, constant blinking or looking at you and blinking their eyes too much is also a sign. Um, rubbing your eyes is also something. So like, you know, sitting and like just rubbing the whole time or rubbing while reading. Those are also signs. Um, tearing eyes. Um, as I said, in the history, if your family has eyesight history problems um, or history of eyesight problems, yeah. <laughs> and then um, also, for instance, while while reading, you know, we normally read a book like this. If the minute the child starts doing this, bringing it closer to the eyes, that's also an issue you should look at. And then, um, oh, something I never knew before that I actually asked my optometrist about is your posture while reading. You know, so. Normally, when you read, you read like this. But the minute you do this, that posture, you should actually have a proper posture because your posture determines on how far you can read. So once your posture is down, um, that's also a sign. And then skipping letters, the simple thing of skipping letters. Um, 
I always said, no, you know, the child's lazy or whatever. No, skipping letters could either mean that yeah, your child is struggling with either the B or the D, as we usually have. But um, yeah, skipping the B or skipping the I, you know, missing those letters is also one of them signs. So yeah, that's a few signs that I Okay, Thank you. fantastic. And I just wanted to go back to something you said now, now um, about starting mm. early with the eye test. You said if we had have caught it earlier, so like, you know, you, you the mm. child starts wearing glasses at 10, but you realize the problem starts at a five or six. And you said you mm. could, something about rectifying it. So does that mean that if your child gets glasses at the right age, it kind of, d does it actually rectify the eyes a bit? um let's put it this way i've got one of my one of my kids i'm sure you know i'm not going to mention names um she started the year at the age of four or started at the ophthalmologist at the age of four but made her glasses to us so i've known her for quite a while and what's been happening is she has been wearing her glasses continuously and her script has actually become it's like it's it's coming down so much that it's actually amazing um, and what I meant by that statement is like, say, for instance, um, I'm supposed to wear a plus one, right? A plus one is your normal reader that you pick off the shelf, okay, at clicks or crazy store or wherever. So I'm wearing the plus one to read and, and I'm wearing it and I'm checking, okay, fine, you know, it's really straining on my eye, but it's fine, I'll go on. You're putting more strain on your eye itself. So what happens the next time I go back, I have to wear plus two or okay. plus three, you know, because the more strain you put on the eye, the more higher your script goes, which is very important. That's why I always say, like, even though there is nothing wrong with your child's eye, you know, come for a test, come and see what's wrong. You know, that that once a year checkups. I, I myself um, don't take my children for those once a year, everything checkups. But I feel like there is a few checkups that is important, you know, like your, your eyes, your teeth. Um, there's certain things that should be checked, yeah. And I think your eyes is very important because, I mean, imagine being blind, eh? Oh, no, that would be pleasant. So, yeah. Although my kids' dirty room wouldn't bother Definitely me. not. So. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> you basically already answered the question. I asked what age should we have our eyes, uh, our kids' eyes tested, and you said, I think it was from about six. Yes. Eight. Six. Six. Six, that's and correct, then if, yes. there's and, and other members of the family that's got eye problems, you suggest about four. Yeah, well, it depends. We've had babies of six months as well, you know. Um, those are things that you actually notice as, uh, I would say from personal experience, um, your kid, you know, you, you show your kid something and you move it, the eyes don't follow. You know, there's certain things that your kid does as a baby that you actually realize, like, you know, can my child hear me? Can my child see me? There's certain things that happen. And, um, yeah, those things, unfortunately, us as spec service cannot help with that, but ophthalmologists definitely. And it is important, yeah, it's important to check those things. So we do it from six up where you can actually sit in the chair and see what's happening, whereas the ophthalmologist actually throws like a little drop in your eye to dilate your pupil and they pull everything from there. So, oh, yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. wow, perfect. So I want to find out, Spec Savers, I've heard, offers free eye testing for children. Can you tell us about that? Yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> I have two kids. I love them to bits, but they are too much sometimes. I love other people's kids. I love having kids in the store. <laughs> I love entertaining <laughs> them. I love giving them sweets and sending them home afterwards. <laughs> but, oh, yeah, um, yeah, it's amazing. Just if I go, take a kid, go and enjoy yourself at home. <laughs> but um, yeah, from the ages of six to 12, we have free eye test. Um, so what happens is it's your eye test. You come in, you book your appointment. Very important to book, book your appointment. Once you've done that, you come in for your eye test. Make sure you bring your child's ID with me. It's very important. Um, but yeah, you book your eye test. We do the eye test free of charge as well as your spectacles and I your mean, lenses. Are the spectacles included? And so if they need glasses, yes. they get glasses. Yes, oh, your spectacles are included, yeah. as I well as your frame, everything. Okay. <laughs> okay. I and then you probably had to buy the glasses because... No, so everything is free. You get you get a free frame to the value of 699 which is, yeah, which is quite a, quite a 
it's quite a decent frame. Um, so yeah. $6.99. Okay, yeah. and then if it goes over and above that amount, does medical aid if you, you have just, it cover the rest? If you have medical aid, yes, they cover the rest. Certain medical aids, I'm sure everybody knows about their medical aids, like Discovery pays, you know, the difference, Bank Med, there's certain this, um, medical aids that pays the difference. And then otherwise, you yourself as a parent can then pay in the difference. But I always say, like, especially if it's your child's first pay, I always say take the free pay, don't pay in because you don't know how your child's going to look after it, when it's going to break, you know. I mean, you'll be back in a year's time. So with your second pay, you then say, okay, you know, I'm ready to like actually take like a thousand rand payment, pay in that 400 rand difference, you know. But in the beginning, I feel like, look, just take just take your, your free frame and keep it at that because you get moms that take it today and a week later they come in like, oh, my child's broken its frame. Which is going so, to happen. yeah. Um, well, especially for the boys. I know, maybe a week. <laughs> yeah, the tree climbing. And that. <laughs> so, so this free test is a yearly free test, or is it a once? It free is. Test? A, it's a yearly free test. So, from the age of six up to the age of twelve, and um, before you turn thirteen, it's it's. What is the word I'm looking for? She was. You know, I'm actually English, but with with the West Coast, it makes me so Afrikaans. Stiptelik. What is the word for stiptelic in, in English? Hold on, yeah. I don't know. Let's check the comments. <laughs> Who knows what stiptelic is? Um, I always use my, I, I always have a brain freeze. And then my fans come and, and tell me what the words the are. The help you. I couldn't remember what OTP was, one time password. I couldn't remember that. I'm like, you know oh, yeah. that thing you get? Like, oh, here we go. <laughs> there, you see my fans are lovely. Promptly. Promptly. Oh, there we go. Confirmed for Antoinette. Thank you very much. I'm Mark so Africa bad. Mount but it sucks. <laughs> the West Coast have made me Afrikaans. So, yeah, promptly every year on the same date. So, it's, it's you know, you can't say, uh, okay, let me come a month before the time. No, it is promptly every year. Yeah, to the date. Okay, that is so, absolutely yeah. and then And then the free glasses is also every year. Yes. Every so year as well. It. So you've just got to keep, yes. keep your glasses in one piece for a year. Only a year. There we go. I know it's hard, but just a year. <laughs> okay, that, that's a fantastic deal. I really, really like that. So I'm going to go yeah. see um, where, what, what all the questions are. We've got quite a few ladies here. Mm. Uh, we've got Sandra. Her daughter started wearing glasses at the age of seven and still wears them. Uh, Kelly, the that's headache good. she always worries about. So, and, and that's how her her eye problem started. Oh okay, yeah, I didn't know anything about that? Uh, Sandra says uh, the eye doctor said her daughter's eyesight problem has to do with the family history and with her having eye problems. Does this mean all of them will have the same problem? I, I think she means all of her children. No. No, we have got many cases where, um, hi Sandra, we've got many cases where the parents are both wearing glasses and say, for instance, there's two or three kids and two of the kids are wearing glasses and one of them, you know, the one that actually wants the glasses comes in is like, I need glasses and there's actually <laughs> nothing wrong with that one's eyes, you know, it's always so funny. But yeah, there, there is always one out of the lot that does not need glasses. So yeah. Perfect. I hope okay. that, that answers the question. Yeah. Uh, we've got Antoinette. She's asking her eldest daughter wears glasses and now her eldest son has a red spot on his eyeball. Is this a possible sign? Um, I'm not sure. Red spots could mean many things. It could mean tiredness. There could be shortness of iron. There, there's so much reasons. Um, Antoinette, wherever you are, the closest spec service, I would have loved it if you are in the West Coast so we could actually see to it yourselves because, I mean, I mean, we're amazing here. <laughs> amazing in the West Coast. <laughs> Um, so yeah, what you can do is though walk into your closest, your nearest spec savers and just walk in and say, listen, I've just got something I'm a bit worried about. Um, I just needed to check the little red dot on my child's eye and I'm sure he'll be able to tell you, look, it is maybe it's, uh, it's tiredness or yes, I'm going to have to do a test for this or whatever, but yeah, definitely, um, an optum's, um, answer over there. But I mean, any spec saver should be able to assist you with that. Definitely. Perfect. And on that note, anybody in the West Coast, Saldana, Langenberg, um, Langerbahn, Friedenberg, um, whatever, if you get to Langerbahn, just pop it in the comments so I know who yeah. can come for the free test. 
awesome. Um, and then we've got Bungeka. Her five-month-old has one teary eye, and she's always rubbing it and blinking it. Oh, yeah, definitely. That sounds, that definitely does sound like a sign. Um, five months. That's going to be ophthalmologist, yeah. That is, that is out of spec service. That's more ophthalmologist. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Perfect. Thank you. Mm. Um, so, and, and then Sandra's asking if it's a family thing. Does it mean all her kids will have to be tested for our sites? Um, I always say when the signs are there, definitely. Or if you feel like I feel, take your child for those things, even though my children didn't go. But if you feel that, yeah, take your children for those things, definitely. I mean, if your child is under 12, you know, it's free at Specsavers. I always say go and use what you're getting for free. It's like you're getting something for free and you're walking past it. You know, like, no, go in and go check. So, yeah, if it's a family problem, I would definitely have all my kids tested just in case. Um, but, yeah, if they are under 12, hopefully they are. I mean, it's free. Take them all. Book them all. Definitely. Mm. Perfect. And then um, Nama says that she's a teacher and so many obstacles and barriers in the classroom get resolved with a simple eye test. Mm. So, yeah, fantastic. Um, let me have a yeah, look. Tanya is asking, um, how does the spec save a special work with Key Care Plus on the buy one, get one free? That is, <laughs> that is a big one. Um, Tanya, so with Key Care, can you hear me then? Mm. Yep. Okay, just hold on. I just got to put my sound back on. I got four in the meantime. Need to speak so I can hear you. Okay, I can hear Did you. you. Lose me? Okay, good. Okay, no, I got you. <laughs> um, Tanya, with that, Kiki is they do give a special or they give 150 rand on your frame. Um, and you do get the special. The only thing is you're going to have to pay in. So your first frame is to the value of your second frame is to the value of your first frame, and Kiki only gives 150 rand. So you're going to have to take at least say about a red sticker in order to get a red sticker, which is pay in triple nine in order to get um, a frame free for triple nine. So yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, it's easy if you come in store so I can explain to you, but yeah, if you pay a thousand rand, you get a thousand rand free for your second pay. So yeah, the only thing with KK is you have to pay in for your frame, unfortunately, yes. Okay, so you don't get two free glasses because the one is free. You do? You do? Yeah, you do. So the, you pay for one, and the second one is free. Okay, perfect. Stunning. Um, Sandra wants to know, mm. um, th does this um, offer at Specsavers apply if your kids have been tested elsewhere? I, I I'm assuming she's meaning... Meaning like if it... Yeah, of course. I mean, if bring your children to Specsavers if it's their first time or whatever. It doesn't matter. Mm. It does definitely apply to whoever. Even though you tested at um, the hospital yesterday, you can still walk into Specsavers tomorrow. As long as your child is between the ages of 6 and 12, you make an appointment and you book your children. Stunning. Perfect. Um, Sandra says it was difficult with her daughter. They were always buying glasses and they were breaking at the playgrounds. Um, yeah, I, I can't even imagine. I'm, sh I'm just thinking of my son. <laughs> <laughs> you know him. <laughs> No, definitely. <laughs> These like would have definitely my... been broken. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. difficult. I think I think I'm not quite sure on the breakage of, of your kids, babe, but I think you I'm speaking under massive correction here. I I'm back admin now, so I'm not quite sure of what's what's happening too much in front. Um, but um I'm sure there is a thing like a free fix. So your second pay, if I'm not mistaken, you must just ask at the spec savers, please, guys. Um, I think your second pay that you get or your first pay that you actually get from spec savers, there's a breakage free frame. So if your child breaks the frame, I think you get a free frame in order to fix it for your second time. Do you, do you understand what oh, I'm saying? That's very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They must just double check on that. I know there's something like that. 
Perfect. So let me see. Um, oh, this is going to be my question as well. Candace wants to know, um, can we go without the birth certificate? Can we take a clinic card? Um, you, you can go card. without the birth certificate. The only thing is we need that ID number because back in the days, our system, uh, we were working on an older system. So now we've got the newer system, whereas we need that child's ID number. So you don't have to bring a physical clinic card or a physical whatever the case may be. We just need that child's ID number so that we can actually process it because we cannot do the test or invoice the child without that ID number. So, yeah, that's about it. That's all we need. Um, perfect. Um, Tanya is saying everything you're saying is really helpful and very good advice. Awesome. Yeah, that is really, really helpful. I think I need to book my kids in, <laughs> book myself in. Yeah, I was telling you, I think, <laughs> please, that you know, eyes are just, I think, I'm a 43 and I think everything is just like, whoop, you know, the boobs are going down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the eyes are everything in, is sagging. <laughs> yeah, you know what? My you know what's the weirdest the part? My mom, my mom started losing her hearing um, quite a long time ago, and it's been a very steady yeah. decline. And you say something to my mom, and she doesn't even hear you the first time. You say something the second time, she goes, "Huh?" And then the third time <laughs> you say something, she goes, "You asked about some what that?" And then you're like, "No, mom. You know, she's misheard one word completely." Yeah. So the other day I'm brushing my, my daughter's hair and so she's standing in front of me and I'm putting a ponytail in and she says, Mom, mumble, mumble, mumble. So I'm like, I can't hear you. What did you say? Mom, you just da 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 granny, da 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 da. What are you saying? She turns up, she goes, Mom, you are just like granny. You cannot hear a thing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, if someone's not facing me, and <laughs> I can't hear a thing. I just know that they've maybe said something and I've heard, heard like a mumble. <laughs> so uh, I can feel like the, the face uh, expression. I need to go to a place and I need to come and have my eyes tested. So, yeah. I've got to really You know what the weirdest part is? That yeah, that, I mean, that you can also come and do in store. Um, you know what's the weirdest part is, and I was thinking about it last night, is that I know you for oh, one, two, three, four, five, six years. And you've never brought your kids for an eye test. That is disgusting. <laughs> I brought them to visit. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there was loads of visits. <laughs> But I, it, you know, it's just, it's one, it's another one of those things that I need to do. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah I, I think I'm going to have to bring them for an eye test and I'm going to have to come for an eye test myself because now when I've been watching something on my phone and I look up, it's like, yeah. blur. it takes like 20 minutes or something to my eyes to like adapt to the new Actually, environment. Yeah. Focusing. So it's not good. Yeah. Oh, I'm now just asking. Is there a reason why the promo is only from six years old? Her son is five, and they've been thinking about starting the annual eye test. Um, there is a reason. The reason why it's six is because um, I think it's 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 more of you know they show them those little letters and all those things on on the board. So from six is basically uh, where your child starts grade R. They start reading and all of those things. Um, if you are in the West Coast, now I'm not sure where you are from. Um, I mean, you can always bring him into our store. We don't, we don't, um, how can I say? We don't, phys we don't physically invoice him, but we can definitely test to actually have a look and see what is wrong at five. Um, I don't know if the other spec service, remember, I'm only speaking for spec service Langerbahn at the moment. Um, so, yeah, if you are in the West Coast, please pop in and just let us have a look. Um, but yeah, normally ophthalmologists because um, they start reading at the age of six, and that is why Speak Savers made it a set rule from six to twelve. Oh, that makes a hundred percent sense. I mean, you can't have yeah. a kid going and saying read out the letters, and they can see them fine, but they don't know what they are. So exactly, yeah. Very, very nice answer. Very sharp. Um, Sikle, her daughter's thirteen this year, and she was getting free glasses at Speak Savers, and she wants to know more about the youth deal. Okay, Cicely. Um, perfect question. So, 13, I understand the youth deal is fine. The youth deal is you actually get free um, blue tech or anti-glare, which is something that's, you know, for your computer lighting, your anti, 
your fluorescent lighting, your night driving, and for things like that. Um, that is what you get free on your um, youth deal. But your daughter is 13. She's been wearing the free glasses. So what I would say is go for our Waza Waza deal. So our Waza Waza deal is something where you get the same, you get, okay, it's a, it's a 150 Rand frame. It's one of our entry level frames, but I promise you it is, it's nice frames, you know, it's nice frames. They do last your child's 13. So it should be able to last your child at least two years. Remember from 13 up, your chest moves on to every two years. And that was a, was a deal for your frame, for your lenses, for your test is only 799 Rand. So it's so much better than taking the youth deal or any other deal. So, yeah, I would say definitely the Waza Waza deal for your daughter. And remember, it's every two years as of 13 years old. Okay, perfect. Okay, so after the age of 12, there are other deals that we can take up. I, I wasn't yes. aware of that at all. We, all, we always have deals. <laughs> Do you have one for 40 plus? <laughs> That's, 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 you know, that's just under the pensioners package, Lynn. Come on, man. Oh, man, I'm just but under there is. Pen <laughs> oh. <laughs> But there are, there are loads of packages. You know, there's, there's the 500 rand off. There's the buy one, get one free. There is the Waza Waza deal. You know, there's so many deals, so many, too many. Okay, perfect. I think I might so, yeah. need to get one of those ones for the screens and stuff because I'm always on my phone watching YouTube yeah. and Netflix and stuff and yeah, working with my computer. It's very good. So, yeah. Okay, stunning. And then I've got another question from Tanya. Um, she wants to know what's the process if she already has a frame and she just wants the lenses at Specsavers. Okay, so with your frame, unfortunately, we do not give the promotions with your own frame. Reason being, um, I would say, uh, with your with your with every new frame that you get, you get a two year warranty. So if they break or you lose them or whatever the case may be, you come back and you pay twenty percent of the price, and we replace the glasses for you. Um, and with your own frame. If anything happens to it in the lab, you know, it's to your own account. It's your fault. You know, I'm, unfortunately, we don't replace the frame. We don't do anything. So for that reason, we don't give any promotions with your own frame. But you do still, I mean, you are on key care plus, if I remember correctly. So they do pay for the test. They do pay for your lenses. And, I mean, if you have your own frame, that should be it. So you shouldn't have to pay in anything. Yeah. But, unfortunately, not the promotion with your own frame. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Uh, we've just got Sandra here saying everything's sagging. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you one thing. You are not alone. <laughs> Definitely not. Fantastic. You're probably fine, but for me, <laughs> if it is oh, getting dark. Word. Okay, cool. So don't, um, oh, no, she's in Kailami. Kailami. Did I say that right? Hi, yeah, Lami. Kailami. Um, I think there is a spec savers in Kailami. If I'm not mistaken, I've heard about that and or I've heard that name before. But yeah. I know they've got racetracks. Car racing there. Are, you, are you sure? Isn't it Kilani? <laughs> Listen. You're talking about Kilani. <laughs> That's right. Kilani. It sounds the same. Yeah. It starts with a K. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> No, the other Kilani ends. The other Kilani ends with a Y. The other Kilani ends with a Y. Yeah. Oh man, double correction. And this one with an I. Moving on <laughs> swiftly. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> but the E is Kilani. Come on. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm just confused. Okay, so back to glasses and away from racing. Candace wants to know, will she be able to get glasses for the screen for herself if one eye is not working in working functions? She was told it's a lazy eye. Ach, lazy eye doesn't mean it's not working function. Um, but yes, you will be able to. Um, so uh, the, the, it's like a blue tech coating that you get. It's called blue tech at Specsavers. Um, it's a, it's, it's got like a, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my glasses though, but it's got like a blue light. Let's see if you can, there we go. Can you see yeah. there's like a blue light shining on it? So that's your blue tech um, coating. So what it does is, you know, on the screen, you've got this glare and you've got the, 
the, the light shining and that blue tech base basically softens it up. So yeah, you can definitely get blue tech. I mean, we work with many patients that is literally blind in the one eye and just one eye working. So yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, perfect. I was told I got lazy eyes, that thing I've told you about where I see ghosting. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, I mean, lazy eyes is nothing bad, seriously. Perfect. Okay, so Sandra says, um, does eyesight ever get better as time goes on with the spectacles? And will they ever get a chance to be without the glasses for a long time? <laughs> That's a question. Show it. Um, you know, sometimes no and sometimes yes. Um, a lot of my clients uh, have the case where I actually had one on Mon on Tuesday where she came in and she said, oh, my eyes got better, you know, and there's with con our contact lenses, we our contact, contact lens wearers as well. We, they were normally a minus one and now they're minus 050, you know, which is going down. Um, so sometimes it happens and sometimes it don't, doesn't. Unfortunately, I cannot give you like a straight answer on that and say, yes, it does or no, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, it, it all depends on yourself, your your actual body and your eyes. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, perfect. I mean, that would be great yeah. if you could all wear glasses for a bit and be fixed. That would be. I cool. know. Just let it go. <laughs> Normally, you start off with no glasses and end up going two glasses. You know, so yeah. <laughs> perfect. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know if there's any more questions. And remember, ladies, anybody that's in Langabad, let me know so I can give you the prize for a free eye test. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway for a checkers voucher soon so that it's applicable to everywhere in South Africa so that everybody gets a chance to win. Um, is there anything else you need to add, Sam? Um, anything interesting? <sighs> No, the only thing I'd like to say is I'll see you soon with your kiddos <laughs> for that eye <laughs> test. It'd <laughs> be great to pop in. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining us and for sharing all this. Thank you. Information. I've learned a lot and I'm sure the ladies yeah. have too. Thank you for the opportunity. It was amazing. <laughs> right there. I hope it wasn't too scary or formal. Or no, I was so nervous. I, I was so scared. I was like, oh. Lord, how am I going to do this? Like, how do I do this? You know, I'm normally fine when I'm behind the scenes and then on the phone or face to face, but the camera is like, you know. So yeah, at least I did it. It was so comfortable, so easy. Yeah, it's really, it's really awesome. So, I mean, I, I, I don't put me in front of a crowd of even five people to speak about something. I kind of, uh, but yeah. then put me in live, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm fine. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, then I'm in my element. Awesome. Thank you very much. And I'll see you soon. Thank you, Lynn. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Oh, I forgot to give you guys a link to Specsavers. So I'm just going to, I've got that ready. I'm just going to pop it into the comments there, specsavers.co.za. Um, Sandra saying this was an awesome topic. Yeah, um, I definitely also need to take my kids in for a test. It's something that I have never, ever done before. And yeah, Sam has been telling me I need to do it. Um, okay, so anybody that's in Langabarn, let me know. And I'll give you a free eye test at Specsavers. Um, I'm just going to put my other banner on here now. So at the end of the video, I'll announce a winner for a 250 Rand Checkers Digital Voucher. Um, and that's because I didn't actually know before the video I thought this morning I'm just going to check in with Sam and see is the eye test for the whole of South Africa or is it just for her branch? And it was only for her branch. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so we've done uh, – I didn't put my banner up. There's my banner, Kids Eye Health Q&A with Sam from Specsavers, and she's just gone. Cool. Fantastic. Um, Antoinette, you need to get your middle kids tested. They last had their eyes tested five years ago. Yeah, my kids are 8 and 10, and I've just never done it. So I'm going to book that appointment as soon as possible with my friend Sam. So let's see what else. Oh, <clears throat> um, don't forget to go over to Instagram, like, follow, share, and comment on my posts. That's a great way for me to get more giveaways and increase my reach and get PR companies to find out about me which means I can bring more giveaways to you. 
That's it. Put my um there's a link to my instagram i don't know sometimes it comes up and says the link is broken but if you click on it it actually works go figure um and then i want to talk about load shedding again oh what a pain in the mm. so this week as we all know load shedding has begun and it really puts a, a lot of stress on me with regarding to work getting supper ready and you know laundry and chores and of course my live videos so i've got a ups which is fantastic for the first hour um after the first hour either my ups dies or if the ups is still going on so i connect my modem and my laptop to that so i've got internet and i've got my laptop but after the first hour the ups sometimes dies first and if the UPS goes on to about an hour and a half, after about an hour, ESCOM stuffs with Telcom, and then my internet goes down. And if both of them continue going, my laptop battery dies. So I've got absolute maximum an hour and a half from the time that load shedding begins to work, use the internet, use my laptop, etc. before I've got nothing. And chances will say that the internet, the, the the electricity. So, so for example, if my live video starts at nine and the electricity load shedding starts at nine, I safely have an hour. That's it, maximum. But if it starts at half past eight or eight o'clock, there's no chance that I'll be able to complete my live video. So it's very stressful. And then in addition to that, my guests need to also have power during that first hour and a half from nine to, to half past ten. Anyway, um, Sam didn't have internet, but they've got obviously a very nice UPS and internet connection there. So her electricity was off this morning during the live video. Um, I'm just wondering if anybody's got any tips to share, um, all ears, on you know ways to cope with the load shedding, ways to stay organized and all of that. Um, and I find it really hard for, from my side because I work from home and I've got my kids, I mean, they're at school in the morning, but in the afternoons they're home and then I've got to cook supper and I've got to fit in all the chores. And the way that I've got a very specific routine that works for me. So I work when my kids are at school or when they're doing homework, or when they're watching TV um, and I fit in my chores and my cooking. So I've, I kind of jump around throughout the day, but I've got, even though I'm jumping around, if it makes sense, I've got a very set way of doing things. And then if you go and you have the power of two times a day for two and a half hours, it's it's an absolute nightmare. So let's check out. Ah, Tanya says, link is fine. Thank you. Pain in the other end, Tanya. Pain in, I, I don't know. Oh, pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Um, Tanya, very frustrating. You are without electricity for 28 hours and then load shedding for two hours. I would do my nothing. I would not, I would not survive at all. Sandra, don't mention the load shedding. Oh, no, exactly. Ours was off from six to half past eight this morning. So I had enough time to, you know, get everything ready for my live video, but it was, it, it's a pain, you know? Um, and Lynn says the load shedding, her son struggles to sleep when there's load shedding overnight because his fan stops working and it's so blimmin' hot at night. Um, I totally get that. And for us, we always leave our bathroom light on outside my kid's room. Um, they can't have complete darkness because then they, they wake up and it disturbs them and they freak out because of the dark. So when our light, you know, if it, if it goes off kind of early evening from eight to half past 10, it's okay. And even from half past 10 to maybe midnight, uh, then we just put a candle in the bathroom. But when the electricity goes off from midnight to two or two to four or four to six, it's an absolute mess because when the kids wake up crying and fumbling around in the dark and scared, it's, yeah, it's absolutely awful. Uh, Nalma, you're jealous. You want a UPS for your Wi-Fi. Other than that, she settled gas stove and cool bulbs that, bulbs that stay on for about an hour. I'd love to know where to buy those nice bulbs because that would solve my kid problem in the bathroom. Um, yeah, look, I've got a UPS. It really does make a big difference for that first hour. 
Um, but that second hour and a half, yeah, um, it's it's not so good. Um, and we've got an electric stove, so that kind of messes with us. But we do have an indoor brise, so I make sure I've got charcoal and wood and fire lighters and stuff on hand that we can bry for those days. Um, and that's quite handy. So my husband does the brine. Michelle, load shedding. An inverter. Why not get an inverter? Um, I don't actually know what you mean by an inverter. Um, yeah. Let me know. Um, and Antoinette, cooking was made easy and cheap, but even under normal circumstances when she switched to gas. Fantastic. Anama, invest in a gas setup. Also the light bulbs that charge. Yes, I need to know where to buy those. I did have a look at checkers, but I couldn't see them. So maybe it's, you know, at a hardware store or something like that. Uh, then you've got a small generator. Yeah, it's, it's not always possible to plan around this load shedding. Buns, batch cooking helps when load shedding messes with, with routine. Just pull a cooked meal out of the freezer. I, I absolutely love that. And uh, one of the other things I do is I've got a slow cooker. So, like, for example, if the electricity goes off at 6 p.m., my husband only gets home at half past six, quarter to seven. So I usually start cooking every night at six. So when it goes off at that time, it's a problem because if I manage to cook before six o'clock, then the food's cold and we can't warm it up for my husband. And I can't cook at six o'clock. So it's a bit of a mess. So what I often do is I put my slow cooker on throughout the day and then the food cooks. And if I leave it in the slow cooker, even though the electricity goes off at six, it usually stays warm up until the time he comes home, which is really fantastic. Antoinette, you've got a dual geezer, solar and normal electric. That, that reminds me of my dad. Um, he's at the farm um, in Swellendam and he's had solar power put in. So he's got solar power. He's also got a gas geezer now. So if the solar power doesn't work, then the gas geyser will work. And failing that, he's, um, he's busy making donkey boilers. So they've got lots of wood from cutting down trees and stuff. And you can see clearly my dad is panicked about having no hot water. So if everything else fails, he can burn wood and heat the geyser that way. So he's got like a, a three-step plan and none of it involves ESCOM. Uh, Nama, you also have a load shedding cupboard with all the necessities. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Tanya, your baby's in a diaper because of the heat. Yeah. Oh, and today's much cooler. But how is this weather lately? I'm in the West Coast. We had a scorching hot day. I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. Yesterday was freezing cold and rain. I mean, today I'm in a jersey and it's like the 4th of February. It's, yeah, it's absolutely crazy. You find that the magneto light really helps. I don't know what that is. Um, buns, load shedding bulbs are great. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll definitely. Oh, from Builders. Okay, I'm taking a note. Give me a sec. We've got a Builders in Langerbans. I'm going to go and I think it's a Builders. Yeah, it's Builders. So I'm going to go check that out. Oh, and Elise, you're pregnant. So when there's load shedding with this heat, you really feel it. Oh, I can only imagine. When I was pregnant, I had like four fans <laughs> at night. Tanya, maybe I should get a small two-plate gas stove with a small gas cylinder. Yeah, that's a fantastic idea. Get out the camping gear. I don't really have any camping gear, so I should get some and make use of that. Um, one of the other things I found really fantastic, um, which I didn't have, and the um, power surges killed our fridge. It completely fried it. And we had to buy a brand new fridge, which was, um, that was the beginning of last year, which was a massive expense, you know, unexpected. I mean, a fridge is something you just cannot do without. So um, what we bought are those surge protector plugs. You can get them at Checkers, and I think they're about 250 Rand. Um, I think it's an Ellie's brand, Ellie's plug. Um, so it's a big red um, adapter. And what you do is you plug that into the wall and then you plug your, your um, equipment, your appliance into that. So if the power goes off or on, that protects your appliance against those surges. And when you buy that plug, there's a, um, a little form that you fill in and you fill that in with what appliance you bought it for and all the information. And I think the invoice for the appliance as well. And you send that to Ellie's. And then if anything happens to your um, appliance, 
because of surges, I think they might even refund you or replace that for you. So I've got um, one of those for each of our TVs and I've got one for my fridge. I don't have for my laptop because I use my UPS and that also, I believe, acts as a surge protector. So that's very helpful. Sandra, the lights and the charger can't be without them. You're scared of the dark yourself. Yeah, it's not pleasant when, you know, in the middle of the night, all the lights go off. Michelle, solar lights, they're quite bright, all the lights you charge. China more. Okay. I'm making notes so that I can go find me a couple of those. And then also has one of those battery ones. Um, I've actually got, my mom got me, I don't know where I put it. It's at the back of my cupboard somewhere. It's like a jar. And it's got a little um, light thing in it. What you do is you put it in the sun and it charges. And then when the electricity goes out, you turn it on and it's powered up. It doesn't give a huge amount of light, but it's, at least it's something. So that's really, really nifty. Um, Sandra, the Magneto lights are a lifesaver. She's got two of them and she gets to charge her phone on them too. Fantastic. Yeah, I charge my phone on my UPS when I have a problem. Um, and Nalma, the Magneto lights are also available at Builders. Okay, I'm, I'm making lots and lots and lots of notes here. And Micah as well. Okay. So I think I'm definitely going to be able to get some this weekend. Yay. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah, load shedding. Whoa. Okay. Um, oh, Michelle, an inverter is like a generator, but this one is small, so it doesn't use diesel. It uses a car battery, and you can plug in your TV and laptop, and they work wonders. Okay, fantastic. So, um, thank you, ladies. I'm supposed to be giving you tips and all interesting stuff, but I'm sitting here <laughs> making notes. Fantastic. And the other thing is a flask <laughs> for your coffee. I have found this a lifesaver. So I literally just be going off at 6 a.m. Um, today and 6 a.m. yesterday. And I usually get up at 6 a.m. So I've set my alarm 10 minutes early so that I can make lunches for kids with some light. And then I fill my flask with coffee. And yeah, so that's, that, that's a lifesaver. Moms need their coffee. Cool. Let me take that off and go here. Um, so the next thing I wanted to just share with you is Snap and Save. Um, I'm going to add the link in here into the comments. Ah, Annalise, you need to get a flask. My mom bought this for me for Christmas, and we haven't had any load shedding until now. So I'm using it for the first time, and I am so grateful. Sandra, you've got one for your son's milk and for the robust tea too. Yes, absolutely fantastic. Tanya, you're going to inbox me a picture of the light. Thank you. Yes, please. I want to see it. Um, okay, so uh, Snap and Save. Oops. Okay, so I was introduced to Snap and Save a few weeks ago. I've spoken about it a number of times in my videos. And um, I'm going to write a review, and I should have that up sometime during the course of next week because I have now saved money. I have cashed back money I've, I've cashed back cashed i've cashed out <laughs> my brain i've cashed out and i've received it in my bank account already so snap and save is an app that you download to your phone and there are offers that you know there's always new offers coming and offers expiring so you need to check it regularly um let me just go see what they've got today there's always fantastic stuff um, you know, and it's not, there's a lot of places I've seen where you get coupons and it's for stuff that I don't use, but this, I mean, bread, milk, eggs, apples, um, there's avos at the moment. I love avos. So it tells you what specific product and brand and et cetera you need to buy. It tells you exactly the product. So for example, now they've got spur steak sauce, 500 mils, um, get five rand off. And there's also spur peri peri sauce, spur barbecue sauce, spur durky sauce. Um, all get five rand off. Um, they've got any one liter of milk, get one rand off. Eggs, any tray of eggs, get one rand off. Buy two loaves of bread, get one rand off. They've got slow mag, fizzy effervescence, 
Hidden Shoulders, Pantene, uh, Razor Blades, Gillette, and Simply Venus. Uh, let's see what else they got. I mean, they got, it's superb. Um, Glad Wrap, freezer bags from Glad, whole stack of Glad products. And I mean, that's stuff we use every single day. I'm just loading more. Uh, Herbal Essence Conditioner and Shampoo Olay products. Uh, we've got Energizer batteries, you know, for all those kids' toys. Doritos, Chippies, Jelly Tots, Kit Kat. So, I mean, this is stuff that we use all the time, especially the things like the bread and the milk and the apples, etc. So, what happens is you go and you see the offer, you see if there's any um, terms attached, like, for example, the Energizer batteries, you can only buy from selected hardwares. Um, some of them don't have terms, but some of them say like Discam only, or they say which stores you can't use to recuperate that. And all you do uh i can never get this right because of the light yeah you can kind of see it um is under each offer you just push book and then you go and you do your shopping you come home you snap a photo of your till slip and then you upload it into the app and you say which which things you book that you're going to claim and then it takes a day or two for them to what do they call it uh, you know it goes into pending and then it gets approved and then you can cash out. So you connect your bank account. Um, on the 26th of January, I cashed out 68 Rand to my bank account. And they paid it back to me on the 28th. So I've so far, I've been with this app, I think it's two weeks now. And my lifetime cash back is 106 Rand, which is absolutely fantastic. And as soon as you sign up, you get, um, you can snap any till slip as soon as you sign up and you get immediately five bucks back in your wallet. And then, oh, there's a really cool one that I did. Um, and I think it's only for new members. So like when you first sign up, there was a thing where you could buy any chocolate for eight rand ninety nine and get 10 bucks back. So you get back more than what you pay for your chocolate. And as you know, I like chocolate, <laughs> like a lot. So, yeah, this app is working absolutely beautifully for me. Um, I'll just pop the, the sign-up link again. You can use my code MOYO010 when you sign up. That won't really do anything for you, but it will give me five bucks back in my wallet because I'm promoting them, and it's a special deal that they've arranged with me. Um, Sandra, you're using Woohoo. But redeeming is a nightmare. Sometimes she loves that the points accumulate quickly. Um, that was recommended to me by Jill. And I downloaded Woohoo. And I tried to set up my profile. And they told me that my email address has been banned. I, I don't know. So I, I, haven't, I haven't found any success there. But there is another one that Jill recommended to me that I've signed up with. That looks really cool. Um, and that is I bought it. I-B-O-T-T-I-T. And there you get rewarded for surveys and you get rewarded for snapping your till slips and you can snap 16 receipts per month. I've uploaded three out of 16 for this month and you get 10, 20 points per receipt and then you get 50 points per survey. And then once you've reached 500 points, you can cash out um, only via gift card to whatever gift cards they've got available. So at the moment, they've got Take A Lot, Superbalist, Macro, Sorbet, Exclusive Books, and Spotify. I think that's all the ones they've got available now. And um, I I put this on about, it was a couple of days ago, I think, within the last week, and I've already got 460 points. So I've done quite a number of surveys, and I've uploaded three receipts, and my balance is 460. So I'm going to be able to get myself a oh look when I hold my phone over here you can see it that is way cool this is I bought it I must know I must put it over my left shoulder <laughs> so yeah oh Annalise you buy use buy smart I haven't heard of that I'm once again making notes um Sandra you're sorry you love woohoo but it takes forever to redeem I don't mind if something takes forever to redeem um you know if I know it takes forever that's okay but um I really would have liked to have used it I think I need to send them a, an email or you know just contact their support because I don't know how my email address is bad I mean that that makes me feel a bit you know ugh. 
Um, Annalise, you've already redeemed 87 Rand. Um, December, you'll keep that for, yeah. I mean, that's a fantastic thing to do to cash out in December and, you know, get back all your savings. Sandra, you've been on Snap and Save for a year now, but you sometimes forget to snap your your, your slips. Arr! Yeah. Uh, Tanya, are you going to be doing a competition for Snap and Save? Yes, most definitely. Um, so the competition that's going to be um, launching on my review is going to be to win 500 Rand back to your Snap and Save wallet. So you actually have to have Snap and Save. And then, of course, once you've got your 500 Rand in your wallet, you'll be able to withdraw that. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a really cool competition. And like I say, you'll have to be on Snap and Save to redeem that. Uh, Nalma, you've used you use Snap and Save for about two years and you've cashed out twice. Uh, Lynn, you started using Snap and Save this week and you've got 26 Rand saved so far. Yeah, um, it's absolutely, I love it. It's absolutely fantastic. And my kids love it. So when I go shopping now and we walk through, they've got my phone and they're like, stop, mom. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can get the, um, what is it, spaghetti? What's the brand? Oh, my brain. The most well-known spaghetti brand. Oh, brain, brain dead. Dead. Anyone help me? No, no one's helping me. Oh, Candace. Fatties and Monies. Thank you, Tanya. Oh, you guys are fantastic when my brain goes dead. So I love Fatties and Monies spaghetti, and that was on special. And the kids were like, we love spaghetti. Look, Mom, Fatties and Monies. Put it in the trolley. So my kids are helping me now as well, which is really fantastic. Um, Candice, you're using, I bought it and loving it, but you missed the airtime they used to have, which came, comes in handy with online purchases. Yeah, um, I, like I say, I've only been on it now for about a week, but I've nearly got enough to cash out. I love take a lot, so yeah, that'll probably be my way of cashing out. Um, but airtime would also be fantastic to have, but I think what they do is they have, it looks like they have different vouchers at different times, so maybe that will will come through. Annalise, are you are you la you're definitely laughing at me? Ah, you know. Oh. Okay, well, I, I suppose you know if you put yourself out there online, sometimes you're going to get laughed at. <laughs> um, Antoinette, Snap and Save is awesome. She's been using it since 2016. When she remembers to snap, and her life saving so far is 1,200. Yeah, I mean it's it's fantastic. I just cashed out that 68 bucks. Um, so I could see what the process was for connecting my bank account and what the process, you know, how long it takes for your money to 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 get into your bank account. Um, you know, and that's for my review. I like to really see how things work for myself. Um, but now I'm going to let it build up. And then when Christmas comes, I'm going to be like, yes, I'm going to cash out all my stuff and go buy Christmas presents. Tanya, it's okay. She goes branded too. She walks into a room and forgets why she went there. I do that all the time. And when I'm talking to my kids, and I did it again yesterday, I'll start, I'll like start saying something important or not important, but whatever, halfway through my sentence, I just zone out. And my kids are like, two minutes later, they're like, Mom, we, we're waiting for you to finish your sentence. <laughs> and I'm like, was I saying something? My mom used to do that, and I thought she was crackers. Um, yeah, now I realize that it's, I think it's just something, maybe us moms have just got too much in our brains going on and maybe it just misfires sometimes. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, if you guys haven't tried Snap and Save, I highly recommend it or hang on and wait for my review and then you can also enter the competition. So yeah. Tanya, this happened to you this morning when you forgot what I was saying. I, it happens to me all the time. I don't know if it's an age thing, a mom thing, but you're not alone. <laughs> I do it all the time. Annalise, this is really great. We can come together and share ideas on how to save money. Yeah, I'm exactly. I mean, I'm big on making money, saving money, you know, and all these little things added together make a big difference. And, oh, the nice thing is what I realized is you can snap the same till slip up it's worked for me. So when I go shopping, I snack, I, I snack, I snap my till slip for um, snap and save. And then I add it to our budget. And then I get the both of them, which is really fantastic. It's not an age thing. It's definitely a mom thing. Okay. 
yeah. I often say that when my kids came out, my brain fell out as well at the same time. <laughs> oh, Shireen, thanks for your sharing. It really helps the stay-at-home mom to get some income. It is an absolute pleasure. So now let's just have a look. I've got my next banner. Oh, cool. Okay, so I've got some giveaways going on my website. Um, the newest one is win a rookie USA hamper to the value of 2,500 rand. Why is that looking so funny? Okay, I'm just adding that link into the comments. So Rookie USA is a fantastic brand. They've got a whole stack of brand names there. And Levi Kids has just joined recently, I think in November, or, you know, towards the end of last year. So go check that out and enter for your kids. And then the next giveaway I've got running on my website. Oh, and I forgot my chocolate boxes. I can't show you the chocolate because I am, I ate it, but I've got the boxes. But here is the giveaway. It is, Nova chocolate is absolutely amazing. It is a sugar-free, gluten-free chocolate range, and you would never think it's sugar-free. It is absolutely divine, super tasty. So if you're diabetic or you just want to, you know, live a healthier life, but have something sweet and, um, you know, a nice treat, it's a fantastic range. It's really high quality. It's really smooth. You can taste it superior. It is absolutely divine. I know because I ate a box of chocolate this size. It was filled with baking buttons, chocolate, like, oh, hot chocolate. <gasps> absolutely divine. So there's the, um, the, the link to enter the competition is there in the comments. Lenovo chocolate. And yeah. Any unboxing today? No. Tanya, I've been so quiet this week. Um, I didn't buy much. No PR company sent me anything. Um, so, yeah, no unboxings this week, unfortunately. I'm sure next week I'll have something nice. Um, yeah. Hey, let's see. What else have I got? Ooh. Hader Labo Tokyo. And this is a fantastic skincare range. And now I've got to say that the difficult word again live so there's the link to enter on my website um it's got hyaluronic acid in it which really um locks in the moisture it's absolutely fantastic this is perfect for um somebody in their 40 plus that needs this extra bit of help um and the giveaway is includes the oval v-lift hydro cream the skin plumping gel and the uh, anti-aging day cream and this um, super hyaluronic acid. It's the super hydrator lotion. There was another one of these which has got collagen in, which is absolutely amazing. And my husband stole it and I can't find it. So that's also included in the, um, in the, give in the giveaway. And there's also another little cream that's like the eye and, and mouth for eye and mouth wrinkles that my husband also stole and I can't find it. <laughs> but if my husband steals the skincare range, you've got to know it's good because he really is into his skincare and worried about getting old and wrinkly. So yeah, into the competition to win that. I nailed it this week. Thank you. I'm so glad. I think you mean saying the hyaluronic acid. I'm I'm getting more and more used to it. I don't like it when I've got to say difficult words live. Cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the last thing I just wanted to do is update you guys on my Ysense earnings. And I am so excited today. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, but I think you guys have been following quite closely with this um uh, y sense so here's my review that i've i've written on my website um so you can go check that out and i go into exactly what y sense is how you can earn from y sense how you can cash out from y sense which payment processor to avoid on y sense um and just to update you guys within the last week i've seen that they're having issues with um paypal cash outs so I don't know quite what's going on there. So at this moment, you can't cash out via pay, PayPal, but you can cash out via Payoneer and you can cash out via Amazon gift card. 
Um, and I'm sure that they will resolve this really, really quick. They are quite on the ball. Um, okay. <laughs> Why Sense doesn't love me? Oh, Sandra. Yeah, I know. I've been getting your feedback and stuff and asking your questions, and I just don't know what the issue could be. I really think you need to contact them and just clarify what's what's going on there. Um, so those of you that don't know, Why Sense is an online... Um, platform where you can earn through doing surveys, completing offers, playing games. Yay. Thank you, kids. My kids earn nice money for me playing games on my phone. And then also through referring other people. Um, and then I just want to share my screen here because I'm so excited. Share screen. Yes. Tab. Yes. Share. Okay. So this is my YSense account over here. Um, if you look over here, you'll see that my lifetime total earnings at YSense is $1,781.36. So that's like over 25,000 Rand I've made from them. Um, over here, you can see my available balance. That's $24.75. Um, today is, it's about to move over to the 4th of Feb. Yeah, okay, well, any second now, because to the 5th. They work on a 24-hour basis, but because they're not in South Africa, their midnight is 10 a.m. here. So you can see here, my earnings for the last 24 hours have been $12.25. Um, and there's not often that many surveys. I mean, there are surveys, but you've got to kind of constantly check in. And often when you look, there's no surveys available. But then you check in half an hour later and then you find a survey and you've got to be quick to to do them but the last 24 hours there's been a load of surveys which has been fantastic so the day before i only earned three dollars 35 but um here i've earned 12 dollars 25 i mean that is not bad for one day um if you times that by 15 point something you'll get the amount of of rams and so far for this month i've earned 19 dollars and last month was $161, which is about 2,400 Rand. So that was not bad for a month. I am so happy with that. Um, and I just want to go here to cash out. Um, I tried to cash out Monday, I think it was. And I usually cash out either Payne or PayPal if I want cash or Amazon if I want to do some shopping. Um, here's this PayPal. So let's just see if it's still up there. We are currently experiencing processing delays with PayPal. We're working as quickly as possible to process all pending orders. We apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your patience. Okay, so I can actually cash out. There's just, they're having delays. So yeah, you, you can cash out via PayPal, but it might just be a little bit delayed. So I chose to cash out via Payoneer and my money was in my Payoneer within two days. I think I cashed out Monday, Tuesday. I don't know, it was sometime this week and it took me just two days. And I was going to see, are there any surveys to complete? Okay, nothing now, um, but I can do my daily poll. So, yeah, I'll be doing that later after the video. Stop sharing. Cool. Uh, let's just have a look here. Uh, Tanya, you got $55. Yes, that is fantastic. And, you know, it, it, it does take time and effort. And um, I'm just going to share another link here in the comments. And so, so I've written the review. And then I wrote another post at the end of last year, which was long after my review, which is ways to increase your earnings. And, and basically, how do you really get to earn on YSense? And those are all the things that I can share that will help you to earn more. Now, um. Ah, oh, Tanya, you hardly went on this week, but you know the potential was much more. It, it, this week has not been that much happening, but yesterday there was just like an explosion of surveys. So, um, yeah, it was just like every time I checked in, there was a survey. And, you know, usually if you if you check in regularly, there's like a 50-50 chance that there'll be a survey. And if there is a survey, you've got like a 50-50 chance of being able to complete that survey. Yesterday, like almost every time I checked in, there was something that I could do. And almost every single time there was something I could do, I qualified for it. So it was just a, one of those really good days. And I think that's something important to know about YSense is it's not a consistent every day you log in and every time you log in, there's going to be a survey. 
Um, sometimes these surveys, sometimes it's not, and sometimes you qualify for them and sometimes you don't. So, you know, it's a little bit hit and miss, but, you know, it's something that I really, really like. Um, Nalma, you've downloaded the app, but it says you're in an unsupported country. Okay, well, that's totally weird because I've got the app and everything's connected, working fine. And I know a lot of people um, in South Africa signed up under me are also finding it fine, you know, when it comes to the country. So maybe just send them a support ticket and just ask them for a bit of help. Uh, Natasha, you think it works better with the app or on a laptop? Um, I don't know if you're saying that or if you're asking a question, um, but with that regard, I use the app and I use my laptop. And that's in the post that I shared about how to earn more because some of the offers are only available, like some of the offers in the games and the surveys are only on the app, some are only on the laptop and some are on both. So if you, you know, if you really want to maximize your earnings, you need to be on both. And if you've got the app, you can access it via the website through your phone as well. And I've noticed that when I'm out and about, if I check both, sometimes there's something that's only available on the one and not the other. So it is one of the tips that I share on how to earn more. And Elise, you're not getting much surveys now. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, um, I, look, I haven't seen one today. Um, but yesterday they just came in. So it was really, really good. Okay, cool. Um, Antoinette, thanks for all the money making and saving ideas. I love it. <laughs> okay, if you want to sign up for Wisense, I'm just going to pop my link in the comments. This is an affiliate link. So if you sign up under me, I will earn a little bit of what you earn, which is really, really cool. So yeah, um, and at least you're also using the app as well. So I'm assuming um, it wasn't you that said you were having trouble with it. That was Nelma. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, Nalma. I really recommend that you contact them. I think that's it for today. Let me see if I've got anything else. Um, no, that's it for today. 10, 12, we're finishing quick today. Lynn, thanks for the tip. She's definitely getting more surveys since she started using it on a laptop as well. Yeah, and, and also, and this is another tip that I shared, is when you first sign up, it is a royal pain in the butt. And that is because um, you're a new member, you've got to build up a bit of a trust factor. So it's kind of like a bit of a catch-22 in the beginning where you, you, it's very frustrating. I know I was there. And um, it's like when you first sign up, you don't have much of a trust factor. So as you answer surveys and as your answers are consistent and valuable and helpful to the company that is running the survey, um, you know, there's real companies behind these surveys. So it's people that want to know, do you like my products? Do you like my logo? How does this company compare against that company, etc.? They're looking for information so that they can build their brand and they can generate new products, etc. Um, and as you manage to qualify for surveys, and I think what happens is, I think the people that are paying license to to get people to do the surveys, I think the people behind the surveys, the companies, I think they rate afterwards the answers that you give. And then as you, as you get rated, your trust factor goes up. But when you start, you don't have a trust factor because you haven't done any surveys. But to get that first survey, you need a trust factor. So it's like a, it's like a complete catch-22. So the first week or two, or maybe even three, it is going to be seriously frustrating. Um, but as you get your surveys under your belt and as you get more, it gets better and better. Cool. And Elise, you're going to try it on the laptop. You really need to do both um, if you want to. Um, Candice, you're going to go on the laptop today. Yeah, I definitely highly, highly recommend it. Tanya, I kept you motivated. Good, I'm glad. Um, you know, and like I say, it, it's it's... It's just hard to get through that first bit. And, and like I've said before so many times, when I first signed up at Wisense, I signed up in 2015. And I only went back and actually made an effort in 2017 because I felt it was a time waster and it was just too irritating. But people motivated me and told me it really does work. You just need to, you know, be like a dog with a bone when you first get there. And I did that. And now look. Um, and it's only since November last year that I've, you know, it, it, why since it's been something that I log on to maybe once, once a week, 
And if there's a survey, I do it. And if there isn't, I just leave it for the next week. So I have not been earning much for the last, since 2017 to 2021, I haven't really been earning much from it because I haven't been putting the effort and the time in. But in November, I said to myself, I really want to see what the full potential of this is. And I'm going to put in a huge amount of effort and I'm going to see. And oh my word, like, you know, really. Um, oh, anyway. You're going to try the laptop as well. Yeah, for sure. Nalma, you bypassed the app error and signed up on the website. And the, in the app, I logged in instead of sign up. Okay, good. Fantastic. I'm so glad that sorts it out. Yeah, I only started, I only, I never used the app the whole time I was at Ysense. It's only in November that I downloaded the app for the first time. And I'm kicking myself because using both, you get so many more offers and, you know, Oh, I'm making you jealous. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not making you jealous. I'm trying to motivate you. And Elise, it's really useful as it's extra income to help. Yeah, totally. I mean, and uh, I've got to be honest, an extra $160 in a month is really, really welcome right now. Uh, Natasha, you've been noticing that it's mostly the ones like herself who's using our phones via the website that gets less surveys. And this is why she said she thinks it's better by downloading the app and from a laptop yeah you, you have to do if you want to like make the most you can you really do have to use both and check in regularly with both awesome okay um Annalise you've won a 250 rand checkers digital voucher please inbox me on my page with your email address so that I can send you an email and get that organized for you um yeah that's it for today um, remember, if anybody's in Langerbahn, I haven't seen anybody yet saying that they're in Langerbahn. I might have missed it. If you've said you're in Langerbahn and you would like that free eye test giveaway, just tag me in the comments and I'll come and check you out. Okay, cool. Um, it's an absolute pleasure. Let me write down your name so that I don't get confused later. It's a Friday. My brain doesn't work that great by Friday. <laughs> Cool stuff. Ladies, have a fantastic weekend and I will catch up with you next week. Bye.